All right. When do you think we'll see CPUs with double the single thread performance of the current gen consoles? So 3.5-ish gigahertz Zen 2. I ask because Unreal 5 is super heavy on the CPU and targets 30 FPS on console. So we would need twice the performance to hit 60 FPS on PC. Not quite sure it works that way to begin with. <laughs> yeah, there's, a few, there's a few considerations there with the whole you need double the CPU performance at 60 FPS. Yeah, maybe, but also how optimized are those early Unreal Engine 5 demos for today's hardware? Well, that's a, that you're Will also console assuming... console developers that... target 30 FPS? A lot of question marks there, but... Well, it also, the entire... For this question to be right, the entire assumption would have to be that you are 100% CPU limited and yep. in no way GPU limited, and it's almost certainly the reverse. You're almost likely 100% GPU limited, and there'll be some instances where that CPU is a little bit limited, but probably not that much. Yeah, I think once you, I think on the latest demos, they are, the CPU does get slammed very hard. Okay. I'm not sure whether it's like an all core situation versus sure. a single thread situation, but certainly those, some of those demos do struggle to reach 60 FPS on powerful GPUs because okay. of the CPU limit. Mm -hmm. But that said, like I said, it's a very early demo, and I'd be very surprised if that level I'd of be performance very was surprised. shipped. Yeah, We're yeah, talking yeah. demos, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Th these are not optimized scenarios, and you know a lot of console games today are 60 FPS. Like mm -hmm. going backwards and only having 30 FPS modes would be a shock to a lot of console and it, gamers. Look, it'd be great if they were utilizing the CPU to that degree in an effective way, yes. not in an unoptimized way. Yeah, I'd be surprised. It would be a dramatic change um, and a yep. dramatic step in the right but direction. Anyway, let's. Yep. if we take the question at face value sure. and ignore the sort of issues with it, when are we going to see double the single thread performance of 3.5 gigahertz Zen 2? So how close does Old Lake get today? I would say off the top of my head, the 12900K, now this is using Cinebench. Yep. Uh, I would say we're at about 50%. For the is 1200K that, versus that, like a 3700X. But is that including a free, the frequency difference as well? Because this is a lower clocked Zen 2 than a 3700X. So they're talking about clock for clock IPC gain? No, I think they're talking just single thread in general. Yeah, 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 it's about 50%. So that's in, so if you're going from 3.5 gigahertz Zen 2 mm -hmm. up to like 5 gigahertz Old Lake, it's about 50%, you reckon? Yep, I think so, yep. So we're probably not that far off then. It might be a bit, at three, at that... At that frequency, so if it's three, it might be a bit higher. It's at least 50, let's put yeah, it that way. at least 50. At least 50. We're halfway there. Possibly a bit more. I, the thing that's thrown me is I'm not sure how much difference the frequency makes to the equation. Yes. So I'd, I'd have to test it. It's at minimum 50%, I yeah. would say, off the top of my head. Uh, so, but it's not 100%. Yeah, so you're probably looking at, you know, 20% faster than that would be getting... Two generations of 20% gains would get you there. I would say, yeah. At l that would be the soonest you could possibly get there. Yeah, two, so more CPU generations. two more CPU So it's not that far. It's not that far from double. If they do really well. If they do really well. If they do really but well. I think the gains we've seen from products like 5800X3D from Alder Lake makes something like this possible. Well, see, that's where it becomes era, confusing yeah. because the single core performance that you get in a program like Cinebench goes backwards with that CPU, despite the fact that it's up to like 50% faster for gaming. So you, you get what I mean though, right? No, like, no I'm just saying yeah. like it makes it very difficult to actually gauge the gaming performance of those parts yes, by using cause... Cinebench. It's a, it's a f what I'm trying to say is my way of approaching this topic to explain it is pretty well flawed, proven by the 5800X 3D. Yes, you'll need the IPC improvement you see in Cinebench plus cache improvements that you see in games. but. It, yeah, it's. <laughs> but I think to answer the question, we're probably a couple of generations away from this. Being At least, I would a have reality. Yeah. yeah.